Robinson um, here for uh, the press conference after their match against QAA. Coach, would you like to start off with a statement about your team's performance and their season? Uh, yeah, we've had a fantastic season. Uh, we, uh, you know, game one was the, dif the difference maker right there. We, uh, we thought we were competing pretty good in game one, and made some errors down the stretch, and it never really, uh, we weren't able to get over that. But um, other than that, it's, it's been a wonderful season. Uh, changed a little bit of the Chico State Volleyball program, and we're happy for it. I, the growth that these girls made over the course of the year was unbelievable. And uh, I'll be forever indebted to them because they kind of changed me, too, as a coach, and I appreciate it. How so, how so did, it, did they help you change? Um, this group trusted each other and trusted me, uh -huh. and so I've, I've told a lot of people that I think my program became too Coach Citric, and it's a uh, players win. <laughs> Players win, and, and I think I can out game plan anyone. I'm just that arrogant. But the game plan itself doesn't win. The troops on the ground win. And uh, forever as a coach, I think I thought I could beat people into winning. And you kind of have to mold together to win. And it took these girls to teach me that. You know, usually coaches are supposed to be molding the athletes to sound like it was a little reversed. Oh, they're far better people than I am, for sure. <laughs> You know, Tori, it, it, it seemed like you know you guys really fought well in that first set, and even into I would argue maybe a third halfway into the second set before it kind of got a, away from you a little bit. What changed, do you think? Um, I think we just let them uh, go on a lot of runs, and we just couldn't stop their their serving. And I think that um, that they just had a lot of they had a big block up too, and I think we just didn't. Um, play as smart as we should have. We put pressure on teams. All year we put pressure on teams, not with our arms. First contact and third contact. Yeah. From the service line and our hits, we'll take people out of system and then we get in. We don't necessarily always get kills right there, but we get an easier ball back and we get kills. We put no pressure on them tonight offensively on the third contact. Um, we struggle with that for various reasons, um, but if we can't put pressure on the number one team, then they're going to, at home, they're going to be able to play loose and, and, and fluid and, and that's kind of what happened. Jump in with a couple of questions. Of Tori, uh, reflect on your four years at Chico State. Uh, how have you grown as a player? How have you grown as a person? Um, I think my four years have been the best just being at Chico. I think that all the girls, um, we've grown as a family, and the playing, just playing with them, made it that much better. And I'm so happy that I chose Chico to play for, and I'm really grateful for my experience. I know you're not much of a stats person, but uh, Everybody needs to know that uh, with your 21 assists tonight, you became Chico State's all-time uh, assist leader. Uh, talk about that. I mean, uh, I know you put in a lot of work, but uh, your hitters have to get a little credit too, right? Yeah, um, I'm. I'm honestly just grateful for um, all the girls and being able to break this record with them. And I think I'm just more thankful for the experience than anything than the numbers. It's often you either have hitters who make your setter better or setters who make your hitters better. And we've been fortunate for four, like 12 years, actually, that we've had the setters uh, that made our hitters better. And it's, it's nice. I've been very fortunate to have a four-year starter, a four-year starter. I've had three starting setters in 12 years. Uh, really? Yeah. That's kind of ridiculous. It, yeah, it's not always the greatest recruiting thing. It gives me gray hairs. <laughs> I'd like to have someone else in place. And, but uh, they've all been All-American or All-Region or conference player of the year or whatever it might be and uh, you know it's been the basis of our offense it's it's been pretty cool Cody in your 14 years uh, how does this team uh, rank amongst uh, some of your best I mean maybe not uh, what they they do on the floor but maybe the intangibles the heart the soul the you know the, the, the never say die attitude how does, how does this team rank well I just told him about in the uh, locker room that it, there's a lot of tangible stuff that people are proud of us for, you know, being Northern champs and, and and making NCAA playoffs and so forth, and that's there. But what needs to go forward is the type, style of play, the relentlessness. The that has to go forward. That's the part that I really wanted them to sink in. What they did this year was we changed how we played. We played for and with each other so well, and it led to wins. I think in the past we've thought about getting the win, and we've neglected the playing for and with each other. And this team is really, it was my funnest year as a coach, 
most fun, or whatever the right. My, my best year as a coach, for sure. And I'm not even talking about the success. I think we've made it further in the NCAA before. But uh, boy, this was a, I had very few butterflies in my stomach before matches with this team, because I knew they'd show up. And that's really what a coach wants, is just show up. And they did it every single game.